It is Monday, February 24th, 2020, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Welcome to a new week. Hope everybody had a great weekend. A uh, little bit later show uh, today than, than normal. Normally, I try to get them out uh, in the morning, but uh, coming back from Vegas, I got in pretty late last night, so uh, getting started a little bit later today, but uh, got a full weekend of action to recap you on. And like I mentioned last week, none of the uh, none of the major series in action, but plenty of other racing going on across the country that we will talk about. Uh, we'll kick it off right uh, right off the top here with the Icebreaker 30 at Lincoln Speedway. Uh, Danny Dietrich wins over Logan Schuhart, Freddie Raymer, Brandon Raymer, and Anthony Macri. Ryan Smith led this race uh, kind of from the start. Uh, he banged a wall in turn two, which allowed Dietrich uh, to, to get around him for the win. Um, he also would later spin in between one and two. That would end his day. Nobody really had anything for Dietrich after that. Um, the crowd and the weather uh, were pretty solid for, for Central Pennsylvania in February. Lots of people there. It looked like it was about standing room only. Uh, this was a really kind of messy feature. A lot of cautions. I think I saw maybe nine or ten cautions, and they needed a fuel stop at lap nine. So um, a little bit messy day there. Uh, interesting too. Like I, I feel like we don't get to see often a lot of sprint car races during the day. So I feel like it kind of adds a little bit of uh, a little bit of a different look to these races. Uh, when you get to see sprint cars race during the day, but obviously uh, w with as chilly as it gets in central Pennsylvania, uh, it makes sense that they would have to race that during the day, but uh, good to see Dietrich get his first uh, first win of the season, and uh, I saw on, on Jeremy Elliott's website, he's not quite sure yet what his schedule is going to look like for this year. They haven't really kind of said it. They're not really sure uh, kind of how they want to go yet. Um, he, he's just really focused on winning, and he and even talked about maybe not running Knoxville, so uh, interesting stuff there from Danny Dietrich. Uh, moving across the country, uh, still sprint cars. Uh, the Hanford or Keller Auto Speedway in Hanford, uh, they had a 360 show on Saturday night. Mitchell Ficino wins over Gio Selzy, DJ Neto, Keith Day Jr., and Michael Ficino. Um, sounds like the new efforts by uh, Peter Murphy paid off. The, they said the crowd was really good and the competitors were pleased with the racetrack. So good to hear big things happening out there at Hanford. USCS show Mark Smith keeps on rolling. Uh, he grabbed the win at Dothan over Terry McCarl, Greg Wilson, Davey Franick, and Connor Loeffler. Uh, Smith has won every single USCS race this year, which is three, um, and has a six-race win streak uh, going, uh, which, which stretches back into last season. So uh, Mark Smith rolling right along right now in the USCS. I want to jump over here really quick. Uh, I probably should have pulled this up earlier, but I wanted to go see where Gio Selzy finished in that ARCA race um, this last weekend. So I'll pull that up here, and while I'm waiting for that to load. Uh, Corey Lyson and James McFadden won the World Series races uh, at Perth over the weekend. Uh, McFadden's win on Saturday clinched him his fifth World Series championship. So cool to see James McFadden uh, rolling along there in Australia. Um, not shocking, obviously, to see him doing well. He is uh, has been fast, and uh, when he'd come over here, he um, for Dirt Car Nationals and and some of those early races had won or had done well over here um, as well. So uh, taking a look at the um, Arca Series race. They ran the bull ring at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Sam Meyer was your winner. Uh, waiting for my computer to load the results here. Uh, Geo Selzy, P10, Holly Holland, P12. So uh, I want to just kind of keep an eye on how they do this season. Um, obviously making that jump from, from the dirt competition over to asphalt. So Geo Selzy, P10 at the um, bull ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway over the weekend. Uh, I want to get to the race that was super exciting this weekend and, and something I, I did not expect and, and something I haven't really paid to, uh, too much attention to in the past. Um, but was the uh, the East Coast Indoor Nationals uh, in Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, one of the things that I, I love and, and sometimes I miss about short track racing, I feel like, um, you, you know, with some of the dirt stuff, we don't get it a whole lot sometimes, um, but it's just like, it's just a rough and tumble kind of just, you know, guys throwing haymakers and, and just, you know, you know, trying to kind of not like beat each other up, but just, you know, some good contact in a race. And, and this Trenton race was was a, a knockdown drag out fight from the start. Uh, 600 micro, micros running. And John Keller, this guy is the story of the weekend. He's a micro sprint regular at Bridgeport. He he won on Saturday night. He had issues earlier in the week. He started the night in the E main and ran from the E main all the way into the feature and then won the feature. Pretty incredible stuff. Uh, he beat Kenny Miller, Kenny Miller the third, Billy Pouch Jr., Eric Rudolph, and Eddie Strada. This is a field of of drivers and a field of cars that is was was not a joke. There are some pretty serious heavy hitters in this thing, um, and for him to come from the E. Main uh, was pretty incredible, but uh, if you get a chance, go check out the the highlights from Speed Shift of that East, East Coast Indoor National. 
professionals. These guys are just beating the crap out of each other, you know, throwing big sliders and and you know pinching each other off. And and this was a fun race. I I I, I, I said this on on the other show that I host, but like I I have obviously been paying attention to a lot of races and a lot of racing that I haven't in the past. Um, and this was one of those things that I was super happy to be able to take a look at because these guys were just going at it, and it was super fun to watch. A couple of the late model shows that I mentioned last week um, that were going on over the weekend, some smaller stuff. Uh, the SRS race at Crossroads Motor Speedway that got looks like it got rained out. They moved it to March. Um, the SWDRA raced um, on 21st at Arizona Speedway. John Cornell was your winner there. Um, and then they ran two late model shows at Fort Payne Motor Speedway. Josh Putnam picks up $4,000 win, and Sam Seawright grabs the UCRA win, um, also a, uh, at, at Fort Payne Motor Speedway. And then the SWDR race um, from the 22nd, that was at Arizona Speedway, that got rained out. So uh, you can find all of those results on Dirt on Dirt. Like I mentioned, I think last, last sometime last week, they have the pretty cool schedule page there that's got all of the upcoming late model stuff on it. So check that out. Um, let me click back over to my notes here. Um, Pay-per-view schedule, nothing really going on this week. It's a pretty quiet week um, while we wait for some other stuff to kind of get rolling again. Uh, so nothing on the pay-per-view schedule tonight over at DirtTracker.com. Um, uh, some more racing will kick up this weekend. Uh, the Extreme uh, Dirt Car Series, they have their finale this weekend at MODOK. Um, and then World of Outlaws Late Models will get kicked up here again in another week or so. And then uh, World of Outlaws Late Models Series, or World of Outlaws uh, Sprint Car Series, um, heads heads west and, and gets their West Coast swing kicked off here uh, in, a, in about two more weeks. So um, some more racing coming up. A little bit of a quiet period right now, um, obviously, as, as we're still kind of waiting for things to warm up and, and get rolling along. But... Uh, keep a keep an eye on the schedules and and uh, I, I encourage you to as I have done uh, check out some of this other stuff that's going on because I I think you'll be pr pleasantly surprised how good some of the racing is uh, in in some of these other places and you know like I mentioned that that Trenton indoor race uh, w was not expecting what I saw there and and I, I figured that it was probably a fun deal I've seen you know some of my friends uh, on social media tweeting about it quite a bit and and I know Steve Post goes up there to uh, to announce that deal so uh, but pretty neat like super tiny little racetrack and and i mean even makes kind of chili bowl look kind of big but super little racetrack and um it was certainly fun to watch that and check those guys out uh we'll keep it short and sweet today um we'll be back tomorrow with uh with a full show i've got some cool stuff going on with some analytics um that i want to start kind of sharing on the show so we'll uh keep you posted with that stuff um as always you can find dirt tracker daily on apple podcasts spotify stitcher or where you get podcasts please subscribe leave me a review and tell your friends uh you can also watch the show on youtube and facebook please subscribe on youtube as well that certainly is helpful uh if you'd like to leave me a review five star reviews uh can i just say like that would be great uh five star reviews I, everybody always asks for reviews and then you start hearing like i don't know how much how many podcasts you listen to but now people are like hey leave me a five star review so uh, hey let's do that let's leave me the best review possible um if you'd like to follow along with dirt tracker you can do that on facebook.com slash dirt tracker twitter.com slash dirt tracker and at dirt tracker.com you can follow me on twitter at justin underscore feed there um you can sign up for that dirt tracker newsletter that's on the site right now as well uh thank you guys for tuning into a very brief dirt tracker daily today we will see you tomorrow